Harrison Smith has been a legit superstar for the Minnesota Fighting Vikings for a decade plus. He, he, yeah, he was the good first round pick from the 2012 NFL draft for the Vikings. Uh, but the writing was potentially on the wall this offseason where a lot of things were working against Harrison Smith. Uh, age was a factor. He's 33, going to turn 34 uh, in February as the Vikings make their Super Bowl run. Mm. Also had a large contract, had a four-year, $64 million extension plopped on him by Spielman right before Spielman said him deuces. A large cap number. Uh, you easily could have seen Kwesi Adolfo Mensa trading Harrison Smith, getting some draft capital, clearing some uh, money off the cap, etc. Uh, also, you had the scheme change coming in. Now, with uh, Mike Zimmer, Harrison Smith had earned a degree of trust where Harrison just sort of lined up wherever. And with the defense of Ed Donatel coming in, how was he going to fit in? Was he too old to learn new tricks? How was Ed Donatel going to incorporate him? Was it going to be like Justin Simmons, uh, like him and Fangio incorporated uh, that great safety in Denver? Denver, or was Harrison going to have to find somewhere else uh, to play? Also, you ha have Quasi Dofa Mensa, the new GM, spending a first round pick on safety, Lewis Seen coming out of Georgia. But the Vikings committed to Harrison Smith. So they, they restructured his contract, uh, freeing up $6 million in cap space. Now, we've said this before. You don't restructure players that you plan on getting rid of very quickly because it absolutely sucks having that dead money on your books for a player that isn't even there. So you restructure guys that you uh, see are going to hang around for the duration of the contract where the new cap hits are spread out. So that's a good sign for Harrison. And then you get to the greasy grime of Green Bay Packers game. Ooh! Allow me to reintroduce myself. Harrison Smith, even at 33 years old, right when safeties are starting to fall off a cliff. Actually, by 33, most of them have fell off the cliff. Harrison Smith is fast. He's getting after it. And he, he reminded all the haters and the losers, oh, yeah, I'm still one of the best safeties in the MF and league, man. I absolutely love to see it, man. Harrison had himself a big game, played all 61 of the Vikings defensive snaps against Aaron Rodgers, had seven tackles, picked off Rodgers for the second time of his career, broke up a pass, quarterback rating of 48.8 when thrown at, which is pretty, which is pretty good. Also posted an 87.5 PFF grade, which is fourth best uh, in the National Football League. Plus, he... You know, this is part of Harrison at his age. He's putting in work, staying in shape, getting after it. Also, uh, I think it's a benefit of Donatel putting him in adv advantageous situations, plus Kevin O'Connell you know, giving him constant veteran days off. It was him. It was Jesse Davis, who's now a Steeler. Also, Patrick Peterson. Like, every third day of practice, they were getting the day off because they're managing uh, the, the load on their legs, etc. And Harrison, he looked fast. Like, Harrison Smith honestly looked like he was 23 again out there. Flying around, making tackles, making plays, sniffing out screens, standing up A.J. Dillon at the goal line. And he just looked fantastic, man. You absolutely love to see it. And Harrison, uh, I think that he's going to be earning every single penny of his contract coming up. You know, the Vikings have a couple more decisions uh, where Harrison does have some more large cap hits in 2023 and beyond. But I, I do think that Harrison Smith... Uh, I, I think that he should end his career in purple, and this isn't just a uh, you know, lifetime achievement award. And Harrison Smith, you know, this season, next season, the year after, is still playing some fantastic football. He's still uh, on the bleeding edge of high-end safety play. And even though, yes, you know, the Vikings did draft Lucy in the first round, and Cameron Bynum, Cam Beasy, uh, it has been a phenomenal starter, a great find in the fourth round by Rick Spielman, by the way, uh, as converted corner coming out of Cal. I mean, the Vikings can work all this out. You know, this isn't a, hey, we, we only have two safeties and that's it. There's going to be times when Harrison and Lewis Seen and Cameron Bynum are on the field all at the same time once Lewis Seen gets back from his knee injury. And Ed Dontel, he's got to be champing at the bit to get all of this talent, all this firepower, all this energy, all, all of this on the back end of the defense, man. So I'm excited for Harrison Smith because, you know, like I said, the deck was really stacked against Harrison this offseason. All the regime change, all of his age, all of his contract, you know, Lucy and being drafted, all, all of that stuff. But he has stepped up, and he's been you know, the quiet leader in the back end of that defense. He had to step up even more uh, with Anthony Barr gone, and this is his team. And I think that you know, Harrison's never really wanted to be verbose or you know, you know, talk big about himself, but I think that there was a little chip on his shoulder. I think that he had a little bit of something to prove because you know, the media was talking about, uh, oh, how the Vikings should move on. Oh, they should do this. Oh, they should do that. Oh, Lewisine is ready to go. But he's like, mm, yeah, Double Deuce still, uh, still, still got a little bit of football left in me. Absolutely love to see it, man. And you know, what's great, like we said, 
uh, of O'Connell. Uh, I'm sure they're, they're going to start spacing out veteran days. I'm sure you know, like Harrison, I'm sure guys like Patrick Peterson, some of the other veterans are going to start getting some days off. And so Zadarius Smith, you know, getting every other Thursday off, just making sure that these guys are fresh late in games, late in the season, because this is going to be a hell of a run. Like we said, Harrison Smith turns 34 in February, just in time for the Super Bowl. That's right, baby. That's right. But uh, your thoughts are our thoughts. Harrison Smith reminding all the haters and the losers that he's still one of the best uh, safeties in the National Football League. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for Daily Vikings Takes. Once more, the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.